Hello, this is Irina, your local realtor, and today is the time for, once again, November real estate market updates. I watch Hollywood Hills, Beverly Hills, and Beverly Hills Post Office because these are the areas people ask me to watch. If you would like me to watch your area, I will put it on my list and will review your area as well every month. So, what was going on in Beverly Hills? In November, the market was rather cool, <laughs> I would say. I know people are waiting for the uh, crash. Well, it hasn't happened and I, did, I don't think it looks like it's going to happen. Well, let's look at Beverly Hills. Right now, we have 86 homes on the market for sale, which is less than we had last month. It was 91, so the inventory is slightly down, but it's like keeping in the same numbers for months. Uh, we, we have 36 homes in escrow, which is up compared to prior months. We had only 12 and we sold fewer homes. Probably the escrows are taking longer because we sold 21 homes in November, whereas in October we sold 41, but October was a little bit of a fluke. We normally have around 20, 30 homes sold a month, sold in Beverly Hills. That's what it has been in our current crazy COVID market. So the price. The price per square foot on average is pushing $1,500. It's $1,483. This is the highest price this year. That's why I'm saying it doesn't look like we are going to have a crash. So average days on the market are about the same, 51 days. It was, that's what it takes to sell a home on Beverly, in Beverly Hills on average. And we sold some expensive ones too. So here you have it, Beverly Hills is steady. The most expensive home is still 1210 Benedict Canyon Drive. It's still, they dropped the price a little bit. It's now 115 million. And the least expensive property in Beverly Hills is on South Tower Drive. 225 South Tower Drive, number 201. You can snatch this condo for $980,000. Now, let's move to Beverly Hills Post Office. The steadiest area in the world, <laughs> seriously. I love Beverly Hills Post Office. We have 95 homes available for sale right now, the same number as last month, 95. We have 30 homes in escrow, a little bit higher than last month. Last month we had 27, that's about the same. And we sold 14 homes in Beverly Hills Post Office, which is more than in October. In October it was 10, in November it was 14. And the price per square foot is up. They keep going up, $1,122 per square foot. So, Beverly Hills Post Office has no major changes, steady, going. The least expensive property in Beverly Hills Post Office is a piece of land on Benedict Canyon Drive, 2232 Benedict Canyon Drive. Go to the realtor, talk to them, you might get a good deal. They have plans, they have um, development plans. I don't know if they have been approved or not, but you can get this piece of land for $500,000 and you might be able to build a phenomenal home on there. And uh, the most expensive home is still Cedarbrook, 9650 Cedarbrook Drive. And they still offer it for $250 million. So there you have it. <laughs> well, and now, Hollywood Hills East. This is the hot, hot market, right? Inventory is low, slightly down right now, 27 homes versus 33 last month. We have 32 in escrow, which is more than last month. Last month we had 22 and sold 
They were 19 homes sold in November in Hollywood Hills East, which is about the same. 19, 21 was sold in October, 21 homes. Average days on the market, it takes on average still three weeks. 23 days, that's what it takes to sell a home on average in Hollywood Hills East. And the prices per square foot are slightly down. $763 per square foot. In October, prices were over $800 per square foot. But $763 is still the high, as high as we had in May. So, there's no crashes there either. It's still the least expensive property is 3480 uh, Barham Boulevard, num number 323. And the most expensive one is on Mirror Lake Drive, 6310 Mirror Lake Drive. They reduced the price a little bit. Now it's $5.9 million. Okay, what all these numbers mean? Well, what it means is that the market is not crashing. Uh, the crash, unless there is something horrible happens, a war, some disaster or something like some crazy things which we cannot control, the crash is probably not happening soon. So, dear homeowners, if you are on the fence and think about selling your home, this is a good time, especially now during the holidays, your buyers will want to move before the end of the year and have the escrow closed, probably by December 31st, so they're done. And dear buyers, if you are waiting for a crash and prices to re de reduce dramatically, just think about it. Uh, our only variable is interest rates, which are still low right now. So it's easier for you to buy a bigger, nicer home right now than it will be in the future when the prices are probably lower, but again, the interest rates are higher and your payments will be higher too. So if you just need to discuss your situation and figure out what you really want to do, I am a senior real estate specialist in luxury uh, division of EXP Realty. So I may be able to help. Just reach out, give me, shoot me a text, leave a comment, send me an email. I check it all and uh, let's talk. In the meanwhile, have a fantastic, awesome holiday season and uh, awesome, awesome, awesome start of the next year. I'm here to help. Ciao, till the next time.